Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a cocktail that's incredibly new, and it was invented by Simon Difford of DiffordsGuide.com, and it was actually invented in March of 2023. That's how new it is. Now, this is a spring-style cocktail, and it's actually a variation of a margarita and a caipirinha put together. And this is his idea of giving a margarita a Brazilian. And you know what? I'm really curious to see how this worked out. So this is a shaken cocktail. So grab yourself a shaking glass and put it off to the side. Because what we're going to do first is we are going to take a lime, cut it in half, cut that in half again, and drop that into the glass. Now that you've done that, what you want to do is grab yourself some powdered sugar. And when I say powdered sugar, you don't want icing sugar, which is really, really fine. And you don't want regular granulated sugar or what some people call caster sugar. So you can do it by just putting some regular white sugar into a mortar and pestle or just do what I did, which was drop it directly into a little bit of a blender and give it a bit of a whiz. And we're going to use three bar spoons. The next step that you're actually going to follow here is to muddle the combination of sugar and lime. Now you will see a little bit of resistance initially at first, but you know what? It is going to work out really well, trust me. Now grab yourself a little bit of tequila because you can't have a margarita without, tequi without tequila. And I'm gonna struggle all the way through this cocktail, so bear with me. But we're going to use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. The fourth ingredient that we're going to add is cachaca. Now I'm using Novo Fogo. Use whatever you can get. This is what I can get and what I happen to have on the shelf at this moment. But we'll use the same amount, which is three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Our next ingredient is triple sec. Now this is an orange liqueur, it's clear in color, and it is a little bit sweeter. Now, if you wanted to play around with different types of orange liqueurs, go for it. Let us know what you come up with because you're also going to get a little bit of a change in the color as well. You might add some dryness or not, but we'll again add three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. For our next ingredient, we're going to make a small substitution. Now, Difford says to use Difford's bitters. I don't have those, I can't get them, but what I can do is I can use some Angostura bitters, and we don't need a lot, so just grab yourself a little eyedropper, fill up your pipette, and we need a total of four drops. Now that you've done that, just make sure you put the remainder of your uh, bitters directly back in the bottle, because you don't want to waste them. And what we'll do is we will now add a bunch of ice to our shaker because we want to make sure we give this a good solid shake and we want to make sure all of the sugar is properly absorbed by the liquid. So make sure that you get a really good seal, give a flip, and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand teaspoons of sugar. Now I do have the feeling that this is going to be a sweeter version of this cocktail, but we'll find out. Now, Simon says to serve this in a highball glass with cracked ice. So th there's a couple of easy ways to crack ice. You can just take it, put it in your hand like so, and you're just sort of breaking it up a little bit at a time. Or you could uh, say use a mallet or something. Totally up to you because every time I do it this way, I have a tendency to bend my spoon. So. Let's just do this the easy way. Grab that. We're just gonna put this in like so. Absolutely fantastic. And what we'll do now is we will fine strain this into the glass, just like so. That looks gorgeous. Look at that color. So what we're gonna do now is garnish this with a bit of a lime wedge, throw that there, grab yourself a straw, and let's give it a try. Mmm, that is good. It is slightly sweet, but you get orange flavor, you get subtle variations from whatever type of bitters that you're using, in my case, Angostura. The tequila and the cachaca go really well together in this, much better than I thought it was. 
Simon, fantastic. But if you like this style of cocktail, take a look right here.